Happy Friday! And yes, as the video title suggests, this video is about keeping snakes and kids together. If we haven't met before, my name is Garrett Hartle and this is Reach Out Reptiles. I'm glad you guys are watching. Now today, I want to talk about the five things that I've really noticed are a benefit to my kids since they've been keeping reptiles. This video is as a request from Richie Soto and Marshall Platts, so thank you guys for the recommendations. Now I've been keeping reptiles a lot longer than I've been keeping kids, so for me, I might have a little bit of a different situation from a lot of you who are, have kids already and are thinking about adding reptiles to your lives. But let's go ahead and jump right in and hopefully this will give you some things to think about. Let's face it, in today's society we could all use a greater attention span and focus. But it affects young children a lot more than almost anybody else out there in society. Attention spans are down to zero and people have a hard time focusing, which means they have a hard time learning. Ever since I've been allowing my kids to interact with reptiles more often, their mother and I have noticed a dramatic increase in their attention and their focus, which has been translating to all areas of their lives. Reptiles are, are not as easy to take for granted in communication and connection as other animals like dogs and cats are that can cry or whine or make facial expressions. Animals experience the world differently and to be able to handle them and really connect with them on the level that kids really do, they have to really zone in like laser focus and pay attention to what's going on and what that animal is telling them. This has really allowed them to exercise the part of their brain that allows them to stay focused longer and look deeper as they learn things. That's been a tremendous benefit. The second thing that is probably common among any kid that has a pet is their ability to take responsibility. Now with young children, I think that reptiles are even a better way to have them begin to learn about what it means to be responsible because reptiles have so much less maintenance requirements. They aren't noisy, they aren't messy, they aren't stinky if you keep them clean, which is a big plus to parents, and they're great for families that have a chaotic, on-the-go lifestyle. With our dog, if we leave for a day or two, we have to find a sitter or somebody to let her out, somebody to come feed her and check on her. With our reptiles, we can make sure that their waters are full and all their environmental regulations are ready to go and we can leave for the weekend no problem. Now, it's important for any parent of a child that has a pet to realize that they are ultimately responsible for the health and well-being of that animal. That being said, because of the low maintenance requirements that reptiles and snakes have, it's easier for a kid to actually perform all of the chores that are necessary to take care of it under an adult's supervision. If you as a parent are unfamiliar with keeping reptiles or snakes as pets, then it's your responsibility and duty alongside your child to get in there and learn about the care requirements of those animals. Now this is a great thing because it can actually be something that you and your child learn together and bond with. They're able to adopt that kind of understanding that learning is something we do for our entire lives. We've never actually arrived. There's always something more to discover in this amazing world. Another great lesson that they learn from having reptiles, which don't necessarily love you back the way that a dog or a cat will, and a child through the gentle correction of, of parents who are supervising, can learn how to treat that animal well so that they can have a rewarding experience. This kind of lesson translates into playing well with others, paying attention to how other people feel, and the cues and body language that everybody in the world uses to connect that a lot of times children are just kind of oblivious to. So it gives them a greater understanding and connection with the world around them in their community. Now, because reptiles are such a fascinating, interesting, even polarizing type of animal, where even people who fear and hate them are intrigued and amazed by them and will memorize all kinds of facts about them, whether they're right or wrong. When your child learns interesting facts about these creatures, they're actually able to go out and teach other people with willing ears, which helps them develop a sense of leadership amongst their peers. 
and confidence even among adults. We oftentimes find our young children speaking to adults and telling them about how their prejudices against snakes and reptiles in general are completely false and there's no logical reason that you should fear or hate all snakes. That they're beneficial to the environment, that they can make very rewarding captives, and that they're an animal like anything else with value to its life. Finally, one of the great benefits that a reptile or a snake as a pet has over something like a dog or a cat is that because they are fascinating and have wild counterparts, this has actually fostered a deep desire to understand the natural world in our children. They learn about the, their pet's wild counterparts, their environments, their conservation status, what they can do to help. It can also present a lot of teachable moments which empower us as parents with opportunities to have tough conversations with even young children in a way that they can understand. For example, if they're in love with their little snake, but they see someone else, which they will, who hates it without even knowing the animal, they're gonna have a natural curiosity as to what's going on. This allows us to teach them things about people, people's biases and unfair prejudices against others, uh, about learning to appreciate people for the value that's inside of them when you can't automatically see it on the surface, and about learning to appreciate differences in other people around us, that we all play a special role in our communities, whether it's the snake in its natural community or us in the environments that we live in. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope that provided you with a few things to think about in your journey to try to determine what's best for your children and how this can actually be a benefit to your family and something that you guys can grow and bond and learn about. Take care, don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps our platform so that we can continue to teach and inspire other people. And if you have an idea for a free tip Friday, comment down below so that we can address the concerns, questions, or desires to understand that you guys have at home. Thanks again. Have a great weekend.